Ruby 1. iOS 18.2 is going to be one of those updates that's going to be bringing a lot of stuff to the table. And there was just a little leak that came out yesterday or today that's basically stating that iOS 18.2, which does bring a lot of stuff, could actually end up being released earlier rather than later. Now, what Apple's kind of been doing recently is with iOS you know, 18.1, they took a long time to go ahead and release that version of software. I really don't think it should have taken them that long to go and do that. Honestly, I think they could have probably released it within like two or three weeks of the iPhone you know, originally coming out. It took them quite a bit of time for them to go and release that software. Now, it looks like within iOS 18.2, this particular update could actually end up being released. At least this is what Mark Gurman said, who's a pretty reliable leaker. He's basically stating that iOS 18.2, which includes major improvements to Apple intelligence, is likely to arrive on the earlier side of December, I'm told. How early? The week of December 2nd. So we could probably expect somewhere around December 2nd, iOS 18.2 could actually end up coming out. So this is going to be in and of itself a pretty big deal if we do end up getting iOS 18.2 coming out in December 2nd, like along that week. So we still have almost a month until this version of software comes out. I do think from then until now, we're probably going to be getting lots of security updates, at least hopefully one other security update. So hopefully like an iOS 18.1.1. Really, we've only gotten two versions of updates since iOS 18 has came out. iOS 18.1 and iOS 18. Point, you know, actually three, iOS 18.0.1 and then iOS 18.1. So, you know, now we're on 18.2 beta. So that's technically three. So maybe we could be getting the next update hopefully sooner than later. Now, iOS 18.2 actually does bring a couple of things to the table. It does bring Genmoji, which is the way to actually go ahead and create your own customized emojis. We do have that type of capability here, which is really cool. And we have ChatGPT integration within iOS 18.2 as well. So those are two kind of some of the major changes within iOS 18.2. And I am very, very excited for it. And I think those things are going to be very big updates too. So I think that is probably going to be a worthwhile update in and of itself. But I would probably add on top of that, a very big thing to keep in mind here within iOS 18.2 is that as this update will get more and more refined, we're probably going to be getting a little, you know, a couple more updates here and there, like a couple more changes. But for the most part, that's pretty much when and how we could expect iOS 18.2 coming out. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.